Valentino giving me suits, gangster suits. Imagine that resentment. This nigga done not down another movie and they, we in LA now. So these niggas go to the comedy store on Sunset. There's some niggas, some OG niggas from my neighborhood, from the Crenshaw district. Let's just say that. We ain't gonna get into specifics. But I'ma say that because I want niggas to know this shit is all the way tied in. It's not no fucking hearsay. You feel me? Like the outlaw niggas, they don't know about this because they wasn't there. Again, this happened in LA. How is it that I just happened to be there when some of this shit occurred and I ain't even know Pac then? I had met him before, but I ain't know him. You feel me? And I ain't get out the car to even approach him when this shit happened. Because that's, you know what I mean? But let, let's just get to the story. So these niggas go in the comedy store. Now, prior to them going in the comedy store, it's a nigga from my, uh, another nigga from my neighborhood, one of my friends, one of my partners. I consider him my brother. He's with a rapper named Smooth Seven, another one of my niggas, you feel me, mm. from around the area. Smooth Seven is signed to Web Entertainment, which is Eminem is signed to, was signed to Web Entertainment. They done this first album. So him and Eminem is running around doing all this shit together. So they go to this convention called the Gavin Convention, and Deke is with him. You feel me? Uh, Naughty by Nature is there. So they at the bar. You know, like I said, nigga, we was drinkers back then. Deke is drinking. I'm, I wasn't there. You feel me? At the Gavin. But all I know is Naughty by Nature, six niggas, seven niggas, I don't know, jumped the nigga Deke. Y'all might have heard about it and remember it. They was hitting my niggas. Six niggas jumped one nigga. And was hitting them with that big ass chain that Trex used to have. Mm. Right? So they had to cast my nigga out 40 bands. My nigga came home, you feel me? And after he got cast out, all this shit had transpired or whatever. But the niggas from the neighborhood, nigga, we strong in LA. We can touch a nigga that's on TV easy. You feel me? Them the easiest niggas to get to. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So the not by nature, nigga. He got a problem the next time he come to L.A. He don't know that he done jumped the wrong, one of the wrong niggas. You feel me? That's cool with the right niggas. You feel me? So, lo and behold, next time the niggas see the naughty by nature nigga, Tupac is with him. Mm. What that mean? Nigga, we getting on anybody here, nigga. Niggas get on them niggas. You feel me? And I still strong. Uh, 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 Trench, they say Trench, uh, uh, you know, he, he basically got packed out. So it was, it wasn't, he didn't have a chance to run or nothing. Pac still strong. And this is a story that I'm getting from, you know, uh, 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 the niggas who packed him out, nigga. You feel me? Right. And, and these ain't no niggas that's just no bully. You know what I mean? They, they going they some solid niggas. You know what I mean? So, they did what they had to do, and, and you know, now the story is back in the neighborhood. Pac stood strong, this nigga, uh, Trex got packed the fuck out, and whoever they DJ nigga, he ran, right? The DJ nigga ran. Uh, you know the nigga, KG, he ran. Hmm. So, after they get, 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 get into it, Pac stay in LA, Trex and them go back to Jersey. So, Pac is staying at the hotel right next to the fucking comedy club. He don't go nowhere, right? So, two weeks later, the same event is at the comedy club. Pac go back to the event by itself. You feel me? A black event at the comedy club that was happening uh, every two weeks. So, he goes back by himself, sees one of the niggas. Uh, no, excuse me. That's not correct. Like I said, he was staying at the fucking hotel next to the time store. So he comes out of the hotel. My nigga, uh, my nigga Kenny Kingpin, he got green Lexus. I'm sitting in a nigga green Lexus. He out the car, doing some shit, talking on the phone or something. Pot comes walking out of the fucking hotel. He like, uh, Laquan, let me highlight you for a minute. So I turn around, because the car is, you know, the door is behind me. It's fucking Tupac. So I'm like, damn, feel me? I'm a young nigga at this time, so I, you know, I ain't trying to hop out, you feel me? I'm a, a slightly older nigga. I'm, 
I'm holding my ground. Like, you know, I'm impressed, but nigga, fuck this nigga, basically. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, um, he like, come on, let me holler at you for a minute. And, and Quan like, all right, what's happening? He's like, man, I got into it with some of your homies. You know what I mean? And uh, over this bitch ass nigga tracks. And this is pot, what he said verbatim. Over this bitch ass nigga tracks. And uh, this nigga done flew back to fucking Jersey, man. I'm out here and shit. I ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 get, can you get the niggas on the phone so we can get, put some sense to this shit? And Quan was like, yeah, what, that's what's up. So he get the niggas on the phone on the big ass motherfucking cell phone back then. And uh, Pop get on the phone with the niggas, say whatever they say and hang up. Uh, next thing I know, niggas, you know, pop over in the neighborhood with, with hella beer, hanging out. And, and they since then, nigga Pop couldn't do no wrong in the Crenshaw district because he was solid. But he didn't fuck with Tretch no more. From That's how they stopped really, you know, Pop didn't fuck with him. Wasn't doing no songs with him. He was only hanging out with him, nigga, in club environments and letting the nigga see him ball on, on the death row shit. But, you know, doing him like you would do a nigga that you really don't fuck with. You feel me? But nigga, yeah, look at me. He ain't doing no music. He ain't getting no money with him. So basically, so yeah, you, all that shit, was, so all that, that fake ass Tupac love is dead, Doc. So that's what I was gonna ask you. So basically, you feel like he doing all this to try to attach himself to the movie to try to get a check? Man, he been doing this shit since Pop died, bro. On some sympathy shit. It's a lot of niggas that really don't fuck with me. You know what I mean? That I know don't fuck with me, and they always pop up, nigga, when I'm at my worst. To say hello, or when I'm at my best, to say hello, you feel me? Because when I'm at my best, now they want to act like they love me. You feel me? I mean, they like it. But when I'm at my worst, nigga, they show up like they love me. You feel me? It's weird. You feel me? Yeah. Your enemies is always motherfuckers that two steps away from loving. That's what they really want to do, but they can't. You feel me? They they got to figure out a way to, to compromise you know, they self-esteem to actually tell themselves, damn, this nigga's all right, I love you. But they be envying you so fucking much that they have to fucking hate you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Proper etiquette. Give me my proper etiquette. If Biggie was out here on the West Coast, he was in the studio with me and we homeboys, and he got shot, no, I wouldn't tell him who did it, but he would want, I wouldn't go ride on niggas who did it, but he want to know who did it. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, look, man, these niggas from Watts did it. Woo, this is why they want to talk to you. When, when, when. That's how I do it. Just like when the niggas from the 60s wanted to get a stretch. I went to them personally and talked to them. Mm-hmm. I do it by the rules of etiquette. So I got shot. I'm like, yo, what happened? Steady how when Wu-Tang got their chain snatched at 6'6 six, six Deuce, I not only found who did it, right. but gave them the message that if they want to see the niggas that did it, they can see them. Man to man. Just you and them. Right. No guns, no nothing. If you feel like that, that's all I ask for. That's all I ask for. If you're going to act like you a gangster or a G or the king of New York, I'm going to expect that. And when you don't come through, then I'm going to want to crush your empire. And that's what it's time for. Lo and behold, next time the nigga see the naughty by nature nigga, Tupac is with him. Mm. What that mean? Nigga, we getting on anybody here, nigga. Niggas, get on them niggas. You feel me? And I stood strong. Uh, 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 Trench, they say Trench, uh, uh, you know, he, he basically got packed out. So it was, it wasn't, he didn't have a chance to run or nothing. Pop stood strong. And this is a story that I'm getting from, you know, uh, 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 the niggas who packed them out, nigga. You feel me? Right. And, and these ain't no niggas that's, just no bully, you know what I mean? They they go they some solid niggas, you know what I mean? So they did what they had to do, and, and you know now the story is back in the neighborhood. Pac stood strong. This nigga uh, Trex got packed the fuck out, and whoever they DJ nigga, he ran. Right, the DJ nigga ran. Uh, you know the nigga KG, he ran. Mm. So after they get 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 into it. Pop stay in L.A., treaching them, go back to Jersey. He back. says if Biggie could not let after motherfucking goddamn Pop come the fuck out, motherfucker, I fucked your wife.
Boom, yeah. boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom. Fuck you, Biggie. Fuck you, blah, blah, blah. Man, Biggie's a battle motherfucker. And it's like he couldn't let that fucking shit go on that. And he's one of the best lyricists. So he's basically like, who shot you? Because I've been told you, I don't know, and I can't fucking find the motherfuckers. And if I can, I'm not that street nigga and fucking name goddamn it. And let's do this on the record and battle and battle and battle and battle and battle, battle, battle. And let me tell you something the fuck else. Uh, Valentino giving me super.